Arsenal three, Southampton one. What did you think about Ramsdale display? This tweet here, you'll never hear me say anything bad about Ramsdale. Arsenal fans are wishing him well. Is it because he lost, or he didn't do a Dean Henderson on us? I think he did. I think he played for us in the initial 10-15 minutes. He did whatever he could. Like he made some misplaced passes. He gave Sterling and Jesus a chance. So it kind of reminded us of what he used to do for us in like all these bogey games against Southampton, if you remember last to last year, where. In the first minute, he misplaced a pass, led to a goal, and then we eventually came back to just draw the game three three, and probably led to our downfall, a t- title challenges downfall, like you know last last season in 2022. So, but I think he's at a special place. Like you know, he's one of those who's been woven into the fabric of the club through its revival process. He was the goalkeeper. He brought the personality to the team, and he made some pretty decent saves. I mean, he was he was the best goalkeeper for, for a year in the Premier League. He was awarded that, and he never did anything wrong. He wasn't just what we needed. Raya was is better, but uh, he's never did anything wrong. He always stuck true to. The club, you know, the, the morals and the standards that the club stands for. They never went back behind our back like Emi Martinez or some other people uh, to bitch about the club. So nothing bad to say about Ramsdale. All right, uh, next tweet. I'm going to uh, uh, Arham. A little bit of a slight, but Saka has had a really good start of the season. But do you think there's a single memorable performance here? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think there are. Good performances from him, and Saka has everything that you want from a winger. Like he's elite one v one. He has good finishing. He pulls on all those left back, like back defensive shifts. Shifts, sorry, that was not a dig. He is a good player. Uh, AJ, uh, generally, like really good start of the season, but that's it's been there every season right now. Like the consistency is crazy. Yeah, I think, and that's one of the biggest things about individual teams and players, right? I think football has become so expansive that it's very hard to minutely follow each and every team. So a lot of the intangibles that players do for your team, like you would notice because you watch them game in uh, week in week out, but other people are just going to be like, you know, oh, he didn't provide a G- XG or there's no goal contribution there's no assist contribution so he played shit and he doesn't have those set of like clips that would go around YouTube like a one minute clip where he'd be like a sensational player but I think Saka has all of those Saka has the goal contribution Saka has the clips Saka has the important goals where Arsenal is either down or level on scoreline and then he just comes up with like a clutch goal and he has done it against like multiple uh, big teams almost all of the big teams so it's not like he goes he goes and he doesn't show up against the big team so he's the cornerstone I think Arsenal is Saka and Saka is awesome at this point. 